Davis. <laughs> Greetings, I just got in, Oof. literally, I just got in from um, East London. Where's my, oh, I just got in from East London. What you doing down there? Get, get this room messing with my desk. <laughs> well, not my desk, but a desk of the A-D-O-S. Now look, hey, you notice anything different? Anything new? Yeah, actually these are real glasses. This is the pro version. These are actually real glasses. I don't say, well, look, I'm, I'm like a nearsighted, for whatever that thing is, you know. I'm one of those sighted. And uh, so I need it for like watching films, you know, get going to the theater, driving at night. <coughs> so when I'm going to the States, I'll be driving at night. Blah, 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 blah. So here you go. So new glasses. Uh, what did I want to say? Hey, there's something I want to say. What did I want to say? Oh. I was listening to a black authority, you know, this, this morning, this morning, whatever. And he brought up something so interesting, right? And that is, you know, the old heads, you know, the, the you know, the, the Clyburns and the da-da, and the people, you know, the, what, what, what they call the, you know, the boomer generations. They don't fail so much. They just need to blah, 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 blah. But he came up with a term that I really, really like. I, I, in fact, I, um, uh, he called it the olders. The olders got to go. Now, let me, let me be clear, right? Because I'm, I'm, well, next week, I'll be, don't worry about that. Next week, I'll be 69. But here's the thing, that makes me a boomer, makes me not an older, because I've, I've been doing this stuff all, all a long time. So I'm actually an elder. Now, when I first came here, there was a, a, a guy at the radio station uh, that invited me here, uh, Bush Radio. <laughs> he said to me one time, he said, Anthony, I'm your elder. And I looked at him, I was saying, you may be older than me, you know, you, you might be my elder in, in life, you know, as far as age go. But as far as this craft goes, as far as the radio goes, I'm your elder. And he's just, so, so there's the difference. If you if you actually done something, da 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 da, in that field, you're an elder in that field. Chronologically, you might be an older, but you know, the way things are now, olders may that, olders, come on, unless you did something. Unless you really undid some way, or better still, unless you're going to do something. Now it's not too late. In fact, you, you, it's almost like olders, they have an obligation. Not to jump in front and blah, blah, blah. They have obligation. Remember, all, all the boomer money, you should be supporting, 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 that, 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 that. There's a lot of things you can do. I say either you, you, look, either you become a spy, meaning that you don't have to be out front. You know, you get all, all kinds of information. Some of you have, inform some of you work for corporations, you can get all kinds of, some of you work for Monsanto, whatever, you all been working for this for years, da, da, da. you can slip stuff out. On the depth, go through three, you have to be a spy or you die. I know it sounds severe. Now, I, I, I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna post this right away. Not right away, probably tomorrow morning. Uh, but, um, I did, I posted, um, I recorded something about what, what, about my desk, you know, I, I reveal the desk or whatever have you. And uh, so I want to reveal just one thing because I said something in that thing and I want to be clear. Unfortunately, I have to move this camera. Maybe my wife will come back and help me. Okay, let's get the dog. This is what I want to show you. Okay, this is the poster, Chimarenga. See that word, Chimarenga, okay? It's from a magazine, literary magazine here in South Africa out of Cape Town, out of Cape Town. And uh, as you see, that's, uh, that's Ziggy Marley, Marley reading uh, from the Bible. Black man reading, get it? Okay, anyway. So Chimurunga, that word, right? C-H-I-M-U-R-E-N-G-A. It's what's called a Shona word. Shona is like the people from Zimbabwe, northern, mainly Zimbabwe. Everybody comes from the interbelly kind of thing. But the, 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 it's a see, Shona, S-H-O-N-A, Shona origins, right? Now the meaning is actually revolutionary struggle, right? But there's a second meaning of the war, I wrote it there, the war within. The war within. That's what I want to talk to you about. Not talk to you about, that's what I want to. Okay, I hope this puts me in focus. Let me see, put it back there. That what's need to happen. Let me give you a, a, a short, over here, a short literary story. Uh, when when uh, Richard Wright became famous for writing uh, the, the Native Son, right, he was very surprised. Nobody, you know, whatever. It was his actually second book. The first book was um, the first book was a Lord Today. In fact, the oh, okay, a, but, uh, this here, this here, the outside, the outside is, is my favorite Richard Wright book, but it's actually a reworking 
of Native Son because when he wrote Native Son, he purposely wrote the character Bigger Thomas as a one-dimensional oh. character. Now, in The Outsider, he fleshed it out and Cross Damon is a full-fledged character, you see? So that's why he reworked it. It's a magnificent book. So I did an audio drama one time very long. And uh, what I did, I adapted Law Today and, 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 and The Outsider and I put it together. Um, it was a very long uh, audio drama, no commercial break. Started at New York and Post Cafe, ended up in WBAI. It took something like eight and a half hours or something like that. No commercial break. This man. Ah, that was four. That was four. Anyway, I bring that up. I get that down. I bring that up. I want to say, so what happened was, from then, the publishers from then, I think it was like, what was it, 1939, whatever it was, uh, that the book came out. <coughs> but the publisher today, you know, they, they all have these cabals. They actually wouldn't let any other black author through. They had to sort of be right in the Richard Wright mode. You know how they do today, you know, but they copy is one success and everybody. Tch, tch, tch. And so what happened is James Baldwin came along, you know, in the 50s, when it was, and he basically attacked Richard Wright. Here's the thing. Richard did not respond because Richard knew that by 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 when I say attack him, you know, uh, Baldwin basically broke it open. So or, or, so Richard knew what it is, but he, there's nothing he could do. But somebody came along. Look at it this way: the old heads, whatever they are, whatever we've been, whatever we've been doing, trying reparations, whatever his. Then the new the, the the new kids, the new kids, the the, the next generation, two generations down comes along, ADOS, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Miss Yvette and, and, and Attorney Moore, uh, they come along. Now remember, they're still helped by Sandy Darity, you see. So what happens is they become the movers, they become shaping it. Sandy Darity just gives them the information. How are we going to disseminate it? You might talk about it. You see what I'm saying? So Sandy Darity is, a, I want to say, let me, he's a spy. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't have to die. But a lot of us overheads, not us, not, not me, have to die. That's my... <laughs> Because it's a war within right now. We have to straighten this thing out. Everybody right now, forget, everybody's attacking everybody. Look, deal with your family first. That's what I got to do, you know. So anyway, that, that's, that's, that's what I want to tell you that. It just, it needs to be said because uh, it is a war within. This is just a short message from me, T, from the Patterson's with uh, new glasses. Taking a train to Tibet. Let you know what I only suspect. From ADOS of the ADOS. Look at that. My wife just washed, uh, just washed the door. Hey, Windy. Hey, Windy. Come here. Come here. You nice? Are you nice and clean? Are you nice and clean? I was at the pet. I was at the pet store today too. I got stuff for you. You know what I do? Oh, what's the matter? Uh oh, your coffin? Anyway, I got dewormer. I got a bunch of stuff for you. Anyway, I gotta say goodbye to people. And this desk of the ADOS it stands for American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. <laughs>